for highly processed and brittle hair. That's me. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy and today we're gonna to be talking about losing your hair when working on a cruise ship. I know, but before you freak out, I've got some advice on how to prevent losing your hair, but please press like and subscribe and let's get into it. Now you may or you may not know that crew members who work on board cruise ships have to deal with hair loss. So I'm gonna go through why this is and then we're gonna go through how you can prevent it, help it, you know. In a nutshell, the water that you use to shower on a cruise ship comes out of the sea. So on cruise ships, they have massive RO plants that desalinate the water, basically take the salt out of the seawater. It gets cleaned and then it is, I guess, sent around the ships to all the showers and we use it to shower in. Now this water is absolutely fine, it's perfectly clean, however, because it has been treated, it is harsh water, it's hard on your skin and your hair. So if you are on holiday on a cruise for a week or two, this really is not going to be a problem. I mean, you might notice that your skin's a little bit dry, but generally you won't even notice a change. The real problems come in when you are showering once or twice a day on a cruise ship for six to nine months. So because the water is harsh as it's been treated, it dries out your skin and it dries out your hair. Now, I have done quite a lot of research on this and although all research basically says the shower water will not make your hair fall out, I beg to differ because everyone that I've spoke to and my own experience, my hair definitely falls out more on a cruise ship than at home. So I could be wrong and although everything would suggest I'm wrong, I think a lot of people would agree that I'm right if they worked on cruise ships. Now I'm not saying that clumps of my hair fall out, you know, it's not anything serious, it's not like alopecia or anything, but you know when you wash your hair in the shower and you notice that maybe you get a little bit of hair, there's more than usual on a cruise ship. So basically today I'm gonna go through how you can help your hair and prevent it from falling out and also how you can help your skin as well because as I said, it affects your hair and your skin. So if you are going on a cruise ship and you're not that big into like skincare, hair care, you know, you're just one of those girls or boys that would use like shower gel to wash everything on your body or, you know, you don't moisturise your face at all, you might want to get a moisturiser. And I'm not talking like an expensive moisturiser. If you don't usually moisturise then or use anything on your hair, then anything is gonna be better than nothing. But trust me, when you get on a cruise ship, because you've got the harsh water from the shower and the air con, you are gonna notice that your skin and your hair dry out. You are gonna need an external source of moisture. First, we're gonna go through hair. Now, I actually had a roommate who washed her hair with bottled water. She, it got to the stage, she'd been on board for like three months and her hair was really not in a good place. So she was like, right, I'm just, whenever I wash my hair, I'm just gonna wash it with bottled water. As you can imagine, this is a very expensive way and fiddly way to wash your hair. But nevertheless, she was committed to doing so and she did notice that her hair was better after she stopped getting it wet using shower water. But I understand that using bottled water to wash your hair isn't really an option for many of us, including myself. It is just far too fiddly for me. So firstly, I try and limit the amount of times that I wash my hair. Usually if I'm at home, I would wash it like three or four times a week. When I'm on a cruise ship, I try and wash it like twice a week maximum. And I know some of you are probably like, oh my God, that's gross. But the beauty is you can get away with having your hair tied back. So most of the time when I'm at work, you will see me with a nice slicked back, slick back, back slicked back bun. That's like a tongue twister. And no, it's not hairspray. It's natural grease. But you know what? If the option is that for like a day or two or having no hair, then I'm gonna take the slick back bun. So we're washing our hair less, and then of course when we are washing it, we want to make sure that we're using like the best products that we can. And I don't mean products that are like ridiculously expensive, I just mean products that are really hydrating and also paraben and chemical free, if possible. So I've started using Davinus stuff. This is a Davinus hair mask. Um, they're really good, no parabens, no chemicals, really good for the hair, so I'd recommend Davinus, I'll link their website down below. 
So yeah, I use a really good shampoo and conditioner and then I also use this mask that I just showed you. So yeah, it's the Daviness hair mask and it is a nourishing and repairing mask for highly processed and brittle hair. That's me. If you are going on a cruise ship, I would recommend getting a good hair mask. There are thousands on the market, so I'm sure you can find one that suits you. That's just the one that I use and I really like it. But yeah, find a good hair mask. But if you don't want to spend money on a hair mask, then coconut oil is amazing. And there's really no excuse because this massive tub of coconut oil was from Aldi and it was $4.99. So what I'll do is like on, let's say the fourth day of not washing my hair, so my hair's a little bit, a little bit grim. So it's gonna go up in the bun anyway. In the morning, I will basically brush a load of coconut oil through my hair. Then I will put it in a bun and everyone will say, oh my God, I really like your bun. It's so well slicked back. I'm like, yeah. And then in the evening, when I finish work, I can come back to my cabin and wash the coconut oil out. And the coconut oil has been in my hair all day, doing the good stuff. So after I wash my hair, my hair feels really nice and not brittle and like it's gonna break. And obviously you can also do that with a mask, leave it in all day. Obviously the longer you can leave any mask on your skin or in your hair, the better. So I try and have a day. Not, I'm not talking like every other day. I probably do the coconut oil thing maybe like once every fortnight. But yeah, leave it in all day and it just helps to keep your hair looking fine. I have washed my hair and dried my hair, although it feels better after like the mask and the coconut oil, it's still a little bit dry. So I use this Rituals hair oil. I love it. I have used it for years. And I just put it through the ends and it makes my hair look shiny and also it nourishes it. You could use a hair serum. I prefer to use a hair oil just because it's better for my hair. So that's the hair stuff. Wash your hair less, use a mask and get a really good like shampoo and conditioner. And then moving on to the skin, there are literally thousands of videos on skincare, so I'm not gonna go too much into it, but just get a skincare routine if you don't already have one. Use a serum, get a moisturizer. And just like with the hair, you really don't have to go and spend hundreds of pounds. You just need to find something that works for you, and anything is better than nothing. The serum, the serum I'm using is this Lancome Genifique one, and then I am using an Elemis moisturizer. Skincare is my guilty pleasure. That's what I like to spend my money on. Don't judge me. But you don't need Lancome or Elemis. Nivea, Olay, L'Oreal, whatever you want to use is amazing. You've just got to get something that works for you. But going back to the coconut oil thing, honestly, even though I do like nice like cream and serum and stuff, there is nothing better than coconut oil. I mean, literally getting out the shower and just smothering your body and your face in coconut oil is the best thing ever. And I even do this when I'm at home and my skin isn't particularly dry. It's just really good for your skin. And I find putting oil on my face makes my face less oily, which I know sounds ridiculous, but like your skin produces oil to moisturize your skin. So if your skin is moisturized, then your skin's gonna be like, oh, we don't need to produce as much oil because there's already some on the face. So by putting oil on externally, it makes you produce less oil. So it actually makes you less oily if you've got an oily skin. And then if you've got dry skin that doesn't produce much oil, then it's just gonna help to moisturize your skin. So it's a win-win. I love coconut oil. I literally swear by it. Hair, skin, eyelashes, everything gets a dosing of coconut oil every now and then. And on that note, make sure you drink a lot of water. Don't drink the shower water, but obviously there is drinkable water on cruise ships, so just make sure you drink as much water as you possibly can. And hopefully if you do these things, your hair will not fall out as much and your skin won't get dry. Really hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've worked on cruise ships and you have experienced you know, your hair falling out and getting a bit brittle or having dry skin, let me know in the comments. And let also let me know if you've got some solutions that I haven't necessarily mentioned in this video. We can all help each other. But as I said, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.